What's up guys, Epoxy here, so I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video that I thought I already did, but it turns out I didn't. So, there are a few people that were asking for this tutorial when I said I did it, and when I said I was going to link it in another video, but it turns out I actually never did this video. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do it now, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install the Nexus Mod Manager, and in this video, currently it is at 0.52.3, that's the version. And if it's newer, it should be the same installation process, but it may be a little bit different. So if it is, comment down below if you're having issues, and I'll try to help you out. Maybe it's different by the time you're doing this, but if it is, I'll do an updated video. So let's go ahead and install through Nexus Mod Manager, or sorry, let's install Nexus Mod Manager, not install through Nexus Mod Manager, sorry about that. My PS4 likes to turn off and that makes it so that I cannot hear anything on my computer. So as you can see, we can download Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8, and then there's also download Legacy for Windows XP. But I've got Windows 7, so let's go ahead and download through Windows 7, and then it'll just prepare your file and then it will allow you to download it. I'm going to go ahead and download the file to my desktop and I'm going to close this off here and then I'm going to go ahead and minimize that beautiful thing, minimize my Steam and then you can see this .exe or the executable file you just want to go ahead and double click that beautiful thing, hit run hit yes, hit ok but if you are a different language obviously, like Dutch change it, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and click ok and then next, I accept the agreement. Make sure that you read this, obviously, because you know if you don't accept it, you don't want to accept it, and then you aren't allowed to download it. But uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm serious, guys. You got to read this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, honestly, it's kind of just common sense. And uh, honestly, just if, if you want, read it. But I'm not going to read it. We're going to go ahead and go next. And if you want to read all the bug fixes and all the new features and everything that come, you can go ahead and read this. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and go next. We're going to install it to our normal program files, Nexus Mod Manager, hit next. Uh, I don't want to create a start menu folder, I hate start menu folders. And then you can see create a desktop icon, I do want a desktop icon, and I do want a quick launch icon. And then as, as, as you can see, holy stutter stutter stutter. stutter <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and show you other tasks if you guys want it to assign these files with the Nexus Mod Manager you can do so but personally I just leave them unchecked if you guys really want to check them you can go ahead and do so basically what it will do is open up th these files in Nexus Mod Manager but uh, it's not really that big of a deal for me so I'm just gonna go ahead and go next and install and then we're just gonna wait for a few seconds while this beautiful program installs and if you guys don't know there is another program that a few people use called the mod manager which I've gone over previously on my channel and I don't know whether I'm gonna make this a part of that series or not but basically I'm switching back to the Nexus mod manager just because of certain issues that I was having and program files Nexus mod manager Nexus client Create process failed code 740. The requested operation requires elevation. I have no idea what the hell that means. So let's go ahead and find where our beautiful Nexus Mod Manager is here. And let's run that beautiful thing in administrator mode. Let's see if it works here. I don't quite know what that error code was, but it looks like if I run it in administrator, it does work. Maybe just because I had it in my program files. As you can see here, it says you currently do not have any file categories set up. Would you like Nexus Mod Manager to organize your mods based on the categories the Nexus site uses? I suggest using yes, because this will auto-organize all the different mods that you install through the categories that they're set as on the Nexus site. And then you can also manually change them if you really want to later on. So I just just go ahead and click, click yes, make it basic for yourself. And... Uh, Yes, I do have a different account now. I can't show you guys my username because then I'll be banned again. And I'm trying to clear it up with the Nexus. I love the Nexus. I've 
I've done a few things wrong that I didn't mean to do, so that's as far as detail as I'm going to go into in this video. I am trying to clear things up, I'm talking to Mikolov, and uh, I don't know whether I'm butchering his name every time I see it, say it, maybe it's... I don't even want to pronounce it again because I don't want to butcher his name over and over again. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and keep it at that. So as you can see, we now have the Nexus Mod Manager installed. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download mods through the Nexus Mod Manager and how to make it very easy for yourself. And uh, I'm going to be going over pretty much the basics in future videos. And then I'm going to be going over a little bit more advanced stuff. But uh, it's not really going to get that advanced because this isn't really an advanced program. But anyways guys, hopefully this video did help you out if you were having troubles installing the Nexus Mod Manager. Uh, if you guys are having any issues, just go ahead and comment down below letting me know. But anyways guys, if you guys, if you guys did help, get help from this video, geez, I cannot think off the top of my head anymore. I'm going blank. I'm drawing blanks. But anyways guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight, it would be super greatly appreciated. But anyways guys, this has been Epoxy, don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace. Whoa.